Hello and welcome to episode number 215 of the Launch Lounge podcast. Today's episode is called Three AI Hacks for Ads That Convert Better. And at the end of this episode, you will know how to save time when you create ad images, videos and copy using some simple and free AI tools to help you. I want you to feel inspired to use these tools to help you get started with your ad copy, your images and your videos so you can grow your email list faster, fill your launches with hot leads and sell more of your coaching packages using ads. If that sounds good to you, stay tuned. Hello, it is so nice for me to be here with you. I want to share with you that when I started researching the content for today's episode, I got sucked down AI rabbit holes and spent an entire day playing with AI and learning about all sorts of new AI tools. And I want to say since AI became mainstream, which I'm guessing, I feel like it might be it maybe a year ago. Could it be more than that? It could possibly be more than that. But I feel like maybe it's been a year since we all started using ChatGPT. Could be more. I, my sense of time is a little bit off these days. But um, I had so much fun and I can't wait to share all of this with you. So first I want to share with you what AI cannot do for you. So that you know we are not expecting AI to do any of the following things. AI can never be you and it can never be your voice. AI, no matter how much you train AI or how well you give AI your brand voice guide or your personal voice guide, sometimes it still comes out a little bit wonky or it still comes out not quite sounding like you. So AI can never replace you and AI can never be your voice, but it can get very close to it which sometimes might just be enough. AI cannot create your offer for you. I want you to hear me on this because I see people saying AI is going to write your sales page for you. And I myself have a resource that I give my students where I give them the prompts to help them use AI to write their sales page. But you've got to start with a good offer and you've got to first know the words of your ideal customer, right? AI can help you with all of that, but it is never going to be able to do the whole job for you. It can help you come up with your offer if you know how to ask it the right questions. And I'm going to guide you to do that today, but it cannot create your entire offer for you. And AI is far from being able to create perfect ad images and videos the same way that designers or that humans can do. Even with a tool like Canva, that is a purely design tool. When we rely only on AI, it comes out a little bit strange. So we're not quite at the point where AI can just create all of your ad images or videos for you. There is still a level of human intervention needed. Now, let's get to the fun bit. What can AI do for you? The first thing that I did with AI that I loved and had a lot of fun with is AI can do competitor research for you. Now, by competitor research, I don't necessarily mean that you have lots of competitors out there. You all know my opinion about competitors. It's always good and they're never competitors. They are other people who help you. Uh, You know the saying, the rising tide lifts the boats, lifts all the boats. They are your fellow boats. They are your fellow tide risers, right? The more boats you put in, the more the tide rises and it lifts everyone up. So think of them as that. Now, you can use this prompt. This is a prompt that I I have used. I put this prompt into ChatGPT and I said, I want to create a new online course that I want to sell with an evergreen webinar. The course is designed to help female entrepreneurs build their email list faster. Can you tell me who is selling a similar course well? Now, I want to confess to you that that prompt is loaded because I already know the answer. 
But I wanted to see if ChatGPT knows the answer and if ChatGPT is going to give me the answer that I want. And I was quite surprised when I find, found the answer. So the first thing it spit out for me is a list of three people with links to their websites. I already know two of the three. I did not know one of the three. And I thought I had a good grasp on the market, right? But it just goes to show. You always think the whole internet is, um, is saturated with the knowledge that you have or with the little dam that you swim in, you know? And then you ask ChatGPT something like this. And whilst two of the three are the industry leaders, this third one is doing an incredible job from what I can see. And I have never even heard of her. And I consider myself, you know, I'm, I consider myself somebody who knows the who's the who in the industry, right? So this third one, I was surprised when I saw this third one. And of course, I had to go and hack everything and, and just opt in for everything and look at everything that she's doing. Um, and she's doing a fantastic job. I loved it. I was so surprised. Anyway, it prompted me to say to ChatGPT, who else? So I literally just typed in who else? And ChatGPT gave me another three names. And of the three, the next three that it gave me, I only knew one. So there were two new people, right? So I looked at all of these new people who I have never heard of, looked at their websites, and I discovered um, what social channels were they on? I discovered what their key messages are, what the what their focuses were when they were attracting new new people on social media. I looked at what their lead magnets are. I looked at what they're promoting on their websites. I looked at what kind of funnels they're running because some of them are running webinars, you know, straight to webinar, selling on a webinar. Others are uh, running book a call funnels, which means they're more promoting something where you book a call and speak to somebody, which leads me to believe that they're selling more higher ticket offers. I opted in for all their lead magnets, found evergreen funnels and upsells and tiny offers and all the things everywhere I could. Now, I want to share with you a secret tool that I use. And this is not an AI tool. This is a tool that's pretty old, but it's a good one. It is a Chrome extension called Go Full Page. So it's a Chrome extension. It's called Go Full Page. And what it does is it takes a sort of a screenshot of an entire page. So if you're doing this with a sales page, you might end up with a PDF that is pages and pages and pages long because it takes one single screenshot of the entire page and gives it to you as a PDF. Now, when I am doing this kind of research to see what the other people in the market who's making a similar offer uh, how they're positioning that offer, what their price points are, then I use Go Full Page. And I have a library, a whole library full of Go Full Page screenshots of other people's sales pages, other people's lead magnet pages, other people's emails, you name it. I've got a load of them. So I save that in my what I call funnel hacking library. And it is always a great resource to go to when you're quickly wanting to put a funnel or an offer together and you just need some inspiration to get you out of that white page syndrome. So, but I could ask, um, you know, once I have this screen, these screenshots, I could sit down and ask myself, who is their ideal customer? What are the main pain points that I see they are addressing? in their sales page? What are the major desires that they are uh, talking about that the ideal customer has? What are the objections that they're overcoming? How are they using scarcity? How are they using urgency? What bonuses are they offering? I look at all of that so that I can get an idea of what is already in demand in the market because you do not need to reinvent the wheel. And what do I have that's different? What can I add that's going to make this offer match the ideal customer, but give them my flair, give them my strengths, give them the things that I am good at. So that's a really great way to use AI to do competitor research. And I'll put that prompt in the show notes for today's episode if you want to come back and try that yourself. The second thing I tried with AI, which I spent about four hours uh, doing, and it 
did not work out the way I wanted to was to get some to get it to create some images for me for an ad and I used a landing page that I already have that I know converts well so I already started with a landing page that converted well so I know the copy on the landing page uh, worked I know the branding on the landing page worked and so I knew I was giving AI a good landing page and what I did is I uh, downloaded a tool called Sintra Sintra is a paid AI tool and I absolutely love it because it gives you a lot of different like characters. And so it gives me Soshi, who is my social media manager, and then a whole bunch of other ca characters. And I say characters in inverted commas because they're not characters. They're just really um, workspaces within the AI tool that is programmed to ask you a series of questions that has to do with some area of your business. So for example, Soshi asks you a lot of social media questions. What platforms are you on? Who's your ideal customer? How often do you post? Uh, things like that. And then based on that, Soshi can help you create social media posts. There's other characters in um, Sintra, like there is someone who helps you with finance. There's a VA. Uh, I connected it to my calendar and then I noticed things from my email starts popping up in my calendar. So my little Sintra VA is adding appointments to my calendar, which I love because it saves me a few minutes to do that. Uh, I'm exploring this tool and I'm not recommending it yet because I haven't had enough experience with it. But so far, I'm having fun. I also in this whole process discovered Jasper and I'm loving Jasper as well, but I will do a separate show on which tools I love. I just want to first take you through the sort of what it can do and what it can't do. Now I put in, there's a conversation with that I had with Soshi that I'm going to read to you because um, A, because it's hilarious, but also because it kind of shows you exactly how AI tools can and can't help us create ad images specifically. So I started with a question, can you create ad images? And so she answered, absolutely, I can help with that. If you have a specific concept or idea in mind for the ad image, just let me know and I can create them for you. Feel free to share any details or themes you'd like to incorporate. Now that sounds promising, right? That sounds to me like, yes, I can create an image for you that you can use as an ad. So then I responded, I want to run ads to build my email list. The landing page where I'm sending the traffic is here. And I linked to the landing page. Can you please provide me with a few images that are four by five in size for the Instagram newsfeed placement to promote this page. And then, so she thought for a while and then it, it put here a notification that the website is scrapped, which I think means that it has read my site, which is great. And then she replied, she said, great, based on the landing page, here are a few ideas for ad images that align with the theme and messaging. I'm going to read you the ideas, but I wasn't asking for ideas. I was asking for images, remember? I was saying, can you create ad images? And she's giving me ad image ideas, which is fine, but it's not what I started with. It's not what I wanted. She said, image number one, visual, a vibrant and engaging image of a laptop or tablet displaying the phrase, get your first list building ad up without wasting money. Text overlay on the image, unlock the fastest way to build a lucrative audience. Okay, so she took my best copy from the page she came up with an idea which i think is a good idea an engaging image of a laptop or a tablet displaying the phrase i think that's fine you know that could make a good ad and i could use that uh, prompt that idea that she gave me and i could go to canva and get a bunch of images of you know a vibrant image of a laptop displaying the text and i could create some ads and it'll be great the second idea is visual, a background image of a notepad with the text step-by-step -step video training and feel confident using the ads manager with text overlay, boost your email list, sign up right. What I love about this is she read my copy and she's even pulling out other benefits from there, right? And I think, again, it is a good idea that she has a background image of a notepad 
with the text written on it in, you know, sort of in, in handwritten text, right? I think it's a good idea. It can work again. Image number three, visual, a dynamic image of a person celebrating with a laptop, highlighting success, text overlay, free five day Facebook and Instagram image, uh, free five day Facebook and, in, and Instagram ads training. So there's no benefit in this, right? She's put the main benefit in the fact that this person is celebrating. And then I reply, okay, so then she ended just saying, let me know if you have any specific preferences or if you'd like to tweak these concepts. Once you're ready, I can generate these images for you. Uh, to which I reply, generate these images for me, please. Now, this is where it gets funny. I am going to take the three images that Soshi generated for me and I'm going to upload them. <laughs> I'm going to upload them in the show notes because you got to see this, right? Okay, so first of all, she did not have the ability to look at my branding on the page. These ads do not match the branding on my page. Uh, they're a bit ridiculous, right? But as a concept, they can work. It's just the application of the concept didn't quite translate really well. The, the last one is a lovely young woman. So I'm glad she kind of got, okay, we're talking to women at least, who is really excited. But here's the funny bit. <laughs> here's the funny bit about this image is the, the woman is standing with her hands in the air and her laptop in front of her. <laughs> and there's nothing holding the laptop up. So it's a bit bizarre because the laptop is floating in space. I'm not sure why AI would put a laptop. The, literally, the laptop is where it would be if she was standing holding it, but her hands are in the air, so she's not holding it. So maybe I should use that as an ad and see if people, um, you know, maybe it's going to work really well to get engagement because people are going to be like, why is this laptop not falling on the ground, right? It's funny. I'm popping these images in the show notes so you can see it. So she generated this and then I said to her, uh, because I realized like this is maybe not going to work so well. I said, can you suggest to me what the best prompts are to give you, to get you to give me good ad images, right? And then she replied. And again, I'll put this, I'll put this, these points in the show notes so you can uh, come and copy them. Because uh, here's Soshi, my AI social media manager, her advice on how to give me good prompts because I then took what she said and I created a prompt based on that and then I put it in a whole bunch of different AI tools to see what they come up with. Okay, so here's what she said. Creating effective ad images starts with clear and detailed prompts. Here are some tips for craft crafting the best prompts to get high quality ad images. Number one, specify the goal. Clearly state the purpose of the ad, for example, Create an image to attract online course creators to sign up for a free webinar. That's pretty clear. I like that. Number two, define the target audience. Mention who the ad is for. For example, targeting entrepreneurs who are new to Facebook and Instagram advertising. Great. She's getting it. Number three, include key elements. Specify any essential elements or objects you want in the image, like a laptop, a notepad, or a person celebrating. Okay. Number four, visual style. Describe the style or mood such as vibrant, professional, friendly, or dynamic. Text overlay. Include any specific text you want in the image, like slogans or calls to action. Number six, color scheme. Mention any preferred colors to align with your brand. And number seven, image orientation and size. Specify if you need a particular orientation or size like four by five for Instagram newsfeed. And then she said, here's an example of a well-crafted prompt. Create a vibrant four by five image for Instagram targeting new online course creators featuring a laptop with the text Unlock the fastest way to build a lucrative audience. Use bright colors and a friendly style. Okay. So then I copied and pasted this exact prompt she just gave me. 
and I put it in there. And she gave me a beautiful image that for the most part I can almost use as an ad. It is a young woman sitting at a desk in a living room, working on her laptop, looking at the laptop while smiling. And then the copy on the ad says, unlock the fastest way to build a lucrative audience. There's a few other bits of copy in there that's a bit gibberish, but looking at the image, I could probably go to a stock image uh, library and find an image that is very similar to that and then design my own ad and just put the copy where um, the AI has put the copy. So I did eventually get to a place where I have an image that is workable or that I can at least uh, use 90% as it is, but I might need to just go and redesign it in a different tool. Okay, so all this is to say, you can use an AI tool like Soshi to give you prompts you need to know exactly what to say so that you end up with an image, but none of the images any of the AI gave me, and I'm including Jasper, I'm including ChatGPT, I'm including Canva, I'm including Soshi or Sintra, none of them could be used as is. As a tool, Jasper AI was amazing, even better than Soshi, at letting me add detail to the prompt. Like I could really add ideal customer information uh, and click on certain styles of images to adjust the image to match that style. However, it still just ended up giving me a woman with a laptop with some form of text on there, which I can use as inspiration, but I can't use it as is. Jasper also gave me a set of ad copy that contained a clear hook, body copy and a call to action. I can use Jasper's copy as is and it will work. This may be because the copy on my landing page is already really good. I tried using another AI tool called Open Art AI and what I like about that platform is you can upload an image and then ask the platform to reimagine that image. So I uploaded my best performing ad images and asked openart.ai to reimagine the ad. And what it gave me is just different variations of what I already had. So it wasn't different enough that I would use it as an ad because it was just a different variation of what I already had. I wanted it to be slightly more different, right? So as far as ad images go, uh, play around, use these prompts that I've given you, play around with ChatGPT, Jasper.ai has a seven day free trial. If you want to try that, it is quite detailed. So if you're going to be using AI a lot, you can definitely uh, get away with Jasper.ai. I have noticed that I, I quite like their autocorrect. I might I even have them replace Grammarly for my uh, autocorrect as a, you know, a tool that corrects spelling and grammar because I type so fast that it always comes up wonky. And so I need some kind of a tool to autocorrect for me. So uh, Jasper.ai is a really great tool. I also really like uh, Sintra or Soshi, but it is a paid for tool. Both of them are paid for tools. But openart.ai is something that if you're an artist, play around with that for ad images. <sighs> Look, I just don't know. I don't know if they're going to get me, if they're going to give me good ad images. So that is what AI is doing for ad images. I didn't try many videos because as you can see, I didn't get much luck with um, images with the, yeah, with images. So I didn't even bother trying to get them to make me videos. So then the next question is how good is AI at giving you uh, conversion copy? How good is AI at giving you copy for your ads? And what I found works best here is it always, it, uh, almost every AI platform I tried gave me good ad copy 
if I gave it a landing page with good copy on it. So again, we, you know, it's that it cannot replace the human. If you can write good copy for your landing page, then AI can pull copy from your landing page and give you good ad copy anytime. If you have, if, if it's already on your page, you can use chat GPT and you will just copy, you just copy and paste the copy from your landing page into ChatGPT and you say, literally say to ChatGPT, this is copy from, or you can start with something like, pretend you are a meta ads manager, pretend you are a conversion copywriter. This is copy for a landing page. I want to run list building ads uh, to this landing page. My ideal customer is XYZ. I want to focus on benefit A, benefit B and benefit C. Please give me good conversion ad copy. Include a hook, a body copy, uh, body copy and a call to action. And then AI will actually pull really good copy for you from your ad. You can even, and I suggest you do that, even say, please give me five strong copy hooks for this ad and start with five strong hooks and then say, can you suggest five strong conversion copy headlines and then choose your headlines. And then once you have your chosen hook and your chosen headline, take those two and says, and say to ChatGPT, this is my hook and this is my headline. Please give me body copy. And then you need to edit that copy so that it sounds like you, all right? It should not sound like AI. I am having a lot more luck using AI to create ad copy than I am to create ad images. Um, but I think that is because I write the landing page copy myself. So I know that I'm starting with good landing page copy. You don't need anything more than ChatGPT to make the most of AI. To help you get started using AI to create your ads, ChatGPT really is uh, a great free resource for you if you want to use AI. AI is best at giving you a starting point and providing you with inspiration. Use it for that, but always, always make edits to sound like you and to represent your brand through your images and your videos. And that is my three ways that we are using AI to create ads to convert more. And if you have an online course or coaching business that is already profitable and you're ready to hire the best ads team to help you scale your business with Facebook and Instagram ads, I want to invite you to apply for one of our openings that we have in the agency right now. We've opened up two spots for new clients starting on November the 1st, and we're actively looking for two coaches or course creators who are ready to open the floodgates of traffic to their profitable funnels so they can scale to seven figures faster. And if you want to be one of those two lucky coaches or course creators, go to the launchlounge.com forward slash agency and apply to work with my agency team right now. I'll see you again soon. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.